In this episode, we will see how dry ice cleaning is performed. Problems with impossible to remove dirt and stuck residues affect not only our kitchens at home. Industrial companies also face this challenge on a daily basis. How to handle them at a factory where contamination is much more severe? This is a job for dry ice. What hides behind this mysterious name? Dry ice is actually carbon dioxide at a temperature of minus 79 degrees Celsius. It is the same gas that we exhale and plants use in the process of photosynthesis. It is inexpensive, non-flammable and easy to store when in liquid form. Dry ice pellets are very soft, so it does not abrade surfaces. Therefore, it is an ideal solution for cleaning metal surfaces without damaging them. Dry ice is a much faster and effective alternative to chemical and mechanical cleaning or ultrasonic cleaners. Dry ice arrives from manufacturers in tightly sealed containers, so its sublimation is limited. Depending on the machine model, the dry ice is applied as a pellet or a block. Dry ice particles, accelerated to the supersonic speed in a stream of compressed air, hit the contaminated surface. W momencie zderzenia cząstki z powierzchnią czyszczoną, energia kinetyczna zostaje całkowicie wytracona. W związku z tym powłoka zabrudzenia ulega pęknięciu. Następnie suchy lód powoduje również bardzo mocne ochłodzenie powierzchni, czyli skurcz cząstek brudu i oderwanie tego brudu od powierzchni macierzystej. Ostatnim z efektów, jakie występują przy czyszczeniu suchym lodem, jest efekt sublimacji, czyli przejście cząstki suchego lodu z postaci stałej w gazową. Objawia się to mikrowybuchem i tutaj następuje oderwanie cząsteczki brudu od powierzchni macierzystej. It is time to see the machines performing this work. In this episode we are visiting Coljet Polska in Obodniki. The factory manufactures, among others, PCS60 and MicroClean 2 dry ice blasting devices. The second of these machines was entirely designed by Polish engineers. So let us take a closer look at those solutions. A control panel is the heart, or rather the brain, of PCS60. It is used to set the quantity of fed ice and the air pressure. It has a blasting hose connected on one side, and a compressed air hose on the other. An applicator and a nozzle are connected to the first hose. Nozzles are available in different sizes to match the surface. Now we fill a hopper with granulated dry ice. The machine is equipped with an option for cutting ice, so up to 28 particles in the exact dimensions chosen by the operator can be obtained from 3 tenths to 3 millimeters. Additionally, different types of applicators are available for use, depending on whether a great power and capacity, or on the contrary, a surgical precision are required. Many companies need only this second type of dirt removal. This is the case with, for example, electronic devices, plastics, or lenses of complex geometry. These needs are met by i3 MicroClean 2, a dedicated device for precise cleaning developed in Poland. This machine uses dry ice blocks instead of pellets. The machine cuts the block, obtaining dry ice microparticles to clean even the most demanding details. Dry ice cleaning is an effective and environmentally friendly process. Contrary to other cleaning agents, like sand or soda, dry ice sublimates so it does not generate secondary waste. And that's not all. As it is not chemically or mechanically aggressive, we prolong the life of cleansed objects. 